All right. So some people were asking me, how can you properly take your skills from the aim trainer into actual games? There's a lot of people who are really good in aim training, but they can't really bring that same level of skill into their actual games. And so for me, I'm ranked diamond complete, which is a really good rank, but I feel like in game, I play extremely well mechanically. So this guide is to help those people out who aim train, but they don't really feel like they're getting the full benefits of aim training in their actual game. And your personal skill level doesn't really matter. There should still be nuggets of information that will still be beneficial. And at the start, the information will be more focused towards Apex and FPS games. But as we go on, the ideas will become a little bit more general. You should be able to put them in any game and find solid results. So when it comes to a real game, your Voltaic rank literally means nothing. Your RA rank doesn't mean anything. These things are fun to grind for, and it really shows where you're at mechanically, where you're weak at, what you're strong at. But in an actual game, these don't matter at all. So the thing you have to understand is when you aim train, you need to play with a purpose to learn how to move your mouse properly. You don't play for scores. You don't play for rank. You play with the intent to know how to properly move your mouse. So you want to learn the fundamentals of aim and you want these things to become the norm. You, you really want these things to become burned into your memory. And the fundamentals, simply put, is just being able to aim cleanly. If you're going to go from point A to point B, you want to do it in a straight line. You don't want to be wiggling all over the place. And when you're tracking somebody, you want to be able to read their movement and stay with the target. And if you want to be able to react to their movement, you want to be able to see how far they're going and react accordingly, nice and clean. You don't want to lose control. You don't want to over aim. You just want to be calm and in control. And then so while aiming, it's very easy to fall in the trap of wanting to be fast. But the truth of the matter is, it's better to be slow and accurate and keep that cleanliness than it is to miss quickly your speed will naturally increase. And so it's important to take time to learn how to do these things properly. If you're going to aim train, you need to do it properly. And so I'm going to link a Google doc by else. And so it's a playlist that you can go through. And the main point of this playlist is besides every scenario, there's a description and it will say what it wants you to do during these scenarios. So for example, on one of the tracking ones, it says concentrate on tracking in a straight line rather than focusing on the target's movement. It does a really good job at breaking down how to properly aim because the truth of the matter is aiming actually is pretty simple. But since there's so many things going on, it becomes really hard to properly aim. So this does a good job of breaking those down. And there's some instructions with it, but the main point of this is the guidelines of how to approach every scenario. These will help your fundamentals out by a significant margin. And once you get the hang of the fundamentals of aim, you want to try to take the same fundamentals into general playlists that you need to do to help out your gameplay, preferably things that you're weak at or what your game needs. But once again, you're playing these with the purpose of doing those fundamentals. You want to do them properly first. Your scores will kind of tank, but scores are not what you're aiming for right now. Get used to aiming properly. You want to stay in control and be clean more than anything. So now we want to get used to playing in an environment with actual players because playing against a player who doesn't want to die, but wants to also kill you is completely different than shooting a bot. And one thing to note is that you can play your main game, sure, but if you're playing a game like Apex, playing that to improve is honestly a terrible idea. You don't get enough experience playing that game. You're not fighting people enough. There's a lot of things to worry about. So you need to find alternate ways to practice if your game doesn't have ways to properly train. I like R5 Reloaded. This gives custom servers on Apex. I typically play on the free for all servers. It's super fun to play. Hours fly by while doing it and you get really good in-game practice. And if you have anybody to play against, you can 1v1 in the firing range on Apex. And this gives a lot of experience pretty quickly. I also really enjoy playing arena FPS games. 
specifically LG duels. So you can play Diabotical every Monday and Thursday. There's 1v1 arenas that are up on Quake Live. In the evening, you can typically find a Thunderstruck server. And if you have Aim Beast, you can do Aim Beast arenas. All really good practice for really getting used to how to control your mouse and how to move at the same time. Note that a lot of these players are really good. So you're probably gonna get farmed and that's fine, but it, this gives amazing practice on how to actually move your mouse. Also on Overwatch, on custom games, there's 1v1 arenas or aim arenas. Really good practice as well. The thing is when you play versus these people, you wanna do those same things that you learned from the aim training, those proper fundamentals. Even if it gets you killed, even if you go slow, even if it's a bit uncomfortable, you have to learn how to do the proper things against these players. And when you're playing, focus on the game, focus on the enemy, focus on your movement. And then so next in your actual games, the game that you really want to play good in, the game that you're practicing for, it's important to note that when you play, you do not want to play with the thought of I'm going to frag out. I'm so insane at aim trainers. I'm just going to frag out. I'm going to win every game. That's pointless. When you play, you need to play with the intent to improve and play with the intent to do things properly, as well as you want to have fun while doing it. When you do this, it makes it much easier to play better. You have to let go of the results of your gameplay. If you die, that's fine. If you lose, that's fine. You need to be able to play with the intent of improving the areas that you lack at, as well as learn that winning is just a byproduct of improving. Your kills, your clips, all of that are just the byproduct of doing the correct thing and constantly improving. And one thing you have to realize is aim is only a small fragment of the game, a really small fragment. The most important part of peak performance when it comes to gameplay is your mindset. If you're not in the right state of mind for playing, you will not play nearly as good as you can. When you're tilting, you are literally playing at your skill floor. You will never touch your skill ceiling. And when you're constantly getting down on yourself, saying, I suck, I can't do anything right, never do this. Do not tie your self-worth to your gameplay. You are not your gameplay. Don't let yourself get depressed over bad play. This does nothing for you. When you get killed by a controller player, if you're getting mad that the game is doing 40 to 60% of their mechanical job, you're literally just feeding your ego and you're making it so that you go nowhere with your gameplay. The, the way I see it is your mouse is just like a paintbrush. It will reflect everything that you feel and everything that you say. If you're tilted, it will show in your gameplay. If your mind is clear, it will show in your gameplay. You will aim a lot smoother. You'll react to things much faster. You'll play a lot better. You'll be more open to learn and you'll have a lot more fun while doing these things. The thing that you have to realize is when you're aim training, none of that stress is there. That's why you play so well in aim trainers. That's why it looks like your mechanics are so good is because there's so many external things that aren't there. You're literally just aiming. People aren't trying to kill you. Your ego isn't on the line. None of those things matter. You just focus on the game. And so you need to realize that if you can do it in practice, you can do it in game. You just have to unlock the capability of doing so. And all of that is just mental. And so when you tilt, it takes your focus out of the game when you need to be focusing on the enemy and what he's doing. That is how you actually play well. When you play the game, you need to be in the moment and focused on the game. Whenever you get mad, it brings that focus away of what's actually important. And it really feels like we're 10 seconds behind. It's really important to spend time working on your mentality. A lot of us only spend time working on our mechanical skills we really don't spend any time working on our mental and mental is majority of the game. So you have to think about it in that way, but you're spending 100% of your time working on mechanics. Where do you think that's going to lead you? And the thing to note about mindset is it's really easy to fall into the trap of, okay, I'm in a good state of mind. I fixed the problem, but mindset is something that you might have a good mindset today, but that does not mean that tomorrow you have a good mindset. It is something that you constantly have to maintain, pay attention to, be aware of. You have to ego check yourself. Whenever you die to something stupid, sometimes you just gotta say unlucky, go next. Things happen. 
it's just unlucky sometimes. As long as you're trying your best and you're playing with the intent to improve, you can't lose. You will play better, you will get better, and you will have more fun while doing it. Mechanics are funny because it's like a paradox. The more you worry about them, the worse that you play. So that's why when you play, you don't worry about your aim. You don't worry about your mechanics. So next, whenever you do play, record your gameplay session and do a VOD review. So when you VOD review, I typically watch like 30 to 45 minutes of my gameplay and I'll notice the same thing over and over again. I keep making the same error over and over again. And then so I'll watch the VOD and I'll take notes of the things that I need to improve at. So mechanically, I'll put down, I need better crosshair awareness. I need to slow down my movement a little bit. I need to become more aware of mirror opportunities, as well as I'm paying attention to how I'm doing things strategically. Am I fighting with full HP? Am I running into a room without getting any information? These are all really important because how you approach things strategically is more important than how you play mechanically. Strategy and mindset are more important than aim. That, and that's just a fact. Although mechanics are really fun and really cool, and it's the main thing we pay attention to, we still need to keep focus on what's actually important. And one thing to note is when it comes to gameplay, it's really easy to be upset when you die. But the truth of the matter is, a loss is just a learning opportunity. When you VOD review, every time that you die, everything that you need to improve is there in that video. How you failed mechanically, how you failed strategically, all of that is there. Losses are just a learning opportunity. It is not a failure. And these losses create awareness. And once you become aware of what you actually need to improve, improving becomes significantly easier, like dramatically so. So once you learn what you're messing up at, now you have guidelines on what to do the next time that you play. So like I said, if you're failing mechanically, you're over aiming, you just become aware of these things. You don't need to police your aim. When it comes to things mechanical, you want these things to be automated, but you want to be aware of these issues. So if you get into a fight and you over aim people like crazy, if you're aware of this issue, when it happens in game, you will notice it in your brain and be like, oh, that's the thing that I need to stop doing. And over time, it will start slowly improving at these things. And also on top of it, now that you know what your issues are, when you go to train in aim training or play R5, now you can play to work on those things specifically. You can put yourself in those scenarios way more often. And strategically, you can press these things a lot more. It's not like mechanics where they need to be automated. You can constantly think about these things and create the awareness of this is what I need to do better. And whenever you create awareness of an issue, you will improve no matter what it is. Also, if you don't know what to look for in your own gameplay, try to watch somebody that's better than you and then compare your gameplay to them. Ask yourself, why do they do these things? And why is it a good idea? And then lastly, your personal health. If you're not sleeping properly, if you're not eating properly, nor if you are exercising on a regular, you're not going to be able to play as good as you potentially can, nor will you improve at the rate that you potentially can. Not to mention when you do all these things, you just feel better. You want to play more, you have more fun, and it becomes really hard to want to be consistent and push further if you're not having a good time while doing it. And the main way to improve is by doing it constantly every day. And on top of that, in your gaming sessions, you need to take breaks. You need to properly take care of your hands and your mind. You only have one pair of hands, so you need to take care of them. There is nothing that stunts progress more than having to take a month off because you didn't properly take care of your hands. So stretch them, strengthen them. You will be thankful that you do. Get used to doing it now before it's too late. And that's pretty much it. There's a lot more things I can go into, but I want this to be a bit more digestible and pretty easy to understand, but you might have to come back and re-watch certain things. But if you take anything from this video, just remember that mindset is the most important part by far. I would say it's probably 70% of your gameplay is just mental, not even joking. As well as you do need to remember that at the end of the day, we're all human and we all improve at different rates. The main thing that you need to know is that you have the ability to get as good as anybody else, without a doubt. If I can do it, you can do it. If whatever X crazy gamer can do it, you can do it too. 
you're both human. It might just take you longer and that's fine. You just need to take time and don't compare yourself to those players. Use them as a guideline of what's possible and use that as inspiration. The only person that you need to compare yourself to is the player that you were yesterday. That's the main person who you want to compete against is just yourself and constantly work at trying to be better every single day. That is how you truly improve. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is my first time making this type of video. So if you guys need help with more things, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to help the best that I can. I'm no aim guru or I'm no monk. I still get upset and I still get tilted over certain things, but I try my best to improve. And that's what it's all about. That's what's the most important. But yeah, best of luck. Hope this was helpful and I'll see you on the next one.